Let's see Envy. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Enjoy the show. Um, give thanks for the call. We appreciate that. GMR, that's TV, Real Vision, you lie. Why some niggas want to be white? <laughs> okay, very good question, man. Reason why I say that, uh, no, I know that niggas want to be white is because they're ashamed of their own self. Yeah, they're because they were black heritage. They was educated on negative things about black, negative images through multimedia, mm -hmm. being in doubt growing up of, of your own self, that you really don't want to be that because all you see is negative shit and bad. So you're confused about your own existence. So you want to be something that look that's good and your slave master. So you want to be the cracker because yeah. you see that in your mind that that's better than they your superior. black. Superior. You're looking at them as they superior. So and you, you low. Like, shit, I want to be that. Yeah, man. And you're looking at your own black self as like we's fucking garbage. Yeah, that makes sense, man. Straight up. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Good right. time. Real Vision GMR and STB, why? Why the fuck niggas take these hoes? <laughs> Very good question, what? man. Is a, why do why why these niggas take, take these, these hoes? I'm going to tell you why, man. Because niggas, first of all, do everything they do. Mostly it's for hoes. Yeah. You know, they because they, niggas, you know, it's just, we all know that women is a passion for men. You know what I'm saying? That men got to control. But everything they do, they do for basically the hoes. The big cars, the big rims for hoes. The nice fly fit for hoes. They come out with the swag. You know, you're licking your lips, singing. Yeah. You're doing yeah. all that shit. <laughs> it's for hoes. So <laughs> the reason why you do that shit, the reason why you cake hoes, because uh, they'll do anything they can, what they got to do to get them. They realize yeah. they don't have to do that. But they thinking that if I do, this that's what she like and yeah. i'll just say anything to her and wind it down and cake the shit cake the shit out the hole just to get them <laughs> cake the <laughs> shit out of women's asses make men jackass <laughs> that's why niggas cake because they don't have to do it but the reason why they think they have to because they get on yeah uh, okay so 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 uh so that's the reason why hoes try niggas <laughs> yeah, yeah, vice versa. They <laughs> vice versa. Cause they like, I got me a duck. He actually gonna do this. <laughs> hey, fuck it. Try the lane. He cake and cake on. I cake. say push the shit to the cake limit. Cake on. <laughs> doom, doom. Cake. Cake on. GMR. That's TV. Why? So why we ain't legal? Man, I'm gonna tell you why weed ain't legal, man. <laughs> because we got a power, man. Like we yeah. touched on in the Bible a few weeks ago, that it was tied in with the scriptures and it's tied in with the Holy Spirit. And the reason why they don't want you to do that, because weed make you think. It make you think more for yourself, and they want to think for you, and they don't want you thinking independently. Because Hell the more no. you start to develop your own thought patterns, you start to pull away from the thought patterns that was implemented in you from a jit that was basically on some institutionalized slavery shit. Especially if you a nigga, so they don't want weed to be legal because basically they make you more of a rebel. Get look you, at what it makes your own alpha waves get the flow. Look what happened with all the legal. hippies was smoking in the cities. They start to be rebelling against that war and say peace and start being more natural, going in here and getting together. They don't like to. Togetherness. Anything you want to separate, they don't want you to find any kind of enlightenment about ourselves, and that's what we can help you do, raise you to a higher level of consciousness. I got another question. Yeah. Why the fuck crackers don't ride Chevys on 24s and 28s and shit? <laughs> Oh, it's coming soon, but they started the reason why because niggas switched it up so fast on they ain't yeah, catch up to yeah, it yet. Yeah. You know what I said? First niggas was back in the day with the momos and the bowling balls and the hammers and shit. They was like turn the shit down, take them ugly ass rims Rules off, the shit flaw. Now you can get the shit off the lot on dubs and twenty twos. And now now they but they went, right when they start getting the new cars off the lot, niggas went old school with the old Chevys and put them on twenty fours and twenty sixes. They like, how the You're fuck like, the nigga got the, the shit fuck? jacked up? Niggas always gonna stay a step ahead of this shit. They, yeah. they ain't caught up to it yet. They catching up, then we'll just switch it up again. Hey, uh, 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 yeah, uh, tell, um, Crack Dog, hit me up, man. I got them beats for him. Oh, okay. my hoop dog? Yeah. Yeah, okay. flash, flash the email up there, Sherilyn, or Street Drop Cinema at Yahoo. You can email us your information, man. Your info. We'll forward it over to him, man. We about making niggas network and make this shit happen. The email address is uh they go right there, street drop cinema at yahoo.com. Send us your information, we'll forward it to him, y'all can link. All right. Straight All up. Right, yo. Appreciate it, man. GMR and STV, why? Why? And why niggas down south rolling the big rims, man? I'm on the west coast. 
and I'm wondering why. Why niggas down stop to ride on the big rim? Because man, down down here it just it's just like the nigga style. You know, in every geographical area, you are gonna have like a style or a swag. How the people around that area? That's just how people is. How we migrate to different areas. Down here in the south, niggas always liked them old school shits. And then once the rims just got bigger from like what 17s to 19s to 20s to yeah. 22s to 24s to 26s. I said a nigga on some 30. Niggas want the niggas just want the biggest shit down here and put on the old school because it's just a style. And niggas always like the old school cars and put the big rims on them that they can. It's just that back in the day, niggas was on a smaller scale with rims. But now, niggas the scale of rims, far as like inches wise, don't went higher. So niggas down here love the old school with the shit that's really been going on for a while. Shit, but I'm out here on the West Coast, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we roll 13s out here, man. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, 13s out there? Yes, sir. Yeah, just the style over there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been to the West Coast, but what I seen, like, in a lot of shit, you know, the music and the moving shit, I know that I start to figure that that's the style, how them boys do it over there. Yeah. You got to respect, like I said, I kind of respect, like, all the styles because shit just show you. Everybody got their own flavor. Diversity, my nigga. Yeah, everything got their own swag, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Straight up. Y'all keep it up, and uh, we're going to keep it down over here. You know what I'm saying? Over here on the West Coast. Yeah. Straight up. What's your name, man, man? Come on, man. Rock. Man, it's Ron, man. Ron, Ron, uh -huh. yeah, Ron, man. I already knew I said, yeah, that's Ron over the West Coast, man. Good thing for the support, man. You all the way out Cali locking in, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Ron. Good thing. And uh, big love to my little bro, my little big bro, Black Prince. Yeah, Black yeah, Prince, yeah. my nigga, yeah. All right, man. All right, all right. man. Good thing. Right. Yeah. You're live, Real Vision. Why? Why is the national dish of all black people fried chicken, collard greens, mac and cheese, and Kool-Aid? <laughs> wow. Ooh, now, that's a real good one. I'm going to say why and wow. <laughs> why is because um, it's really rooted a lot in that southern style of shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it really comes back all the way back to the generation leading back to slavery. They call it soul food. Really, it was slave food. It was basically because it ain't really helping your soul. It's destroying oh, your man. soul. Destroying. And we're not trying to pick this shit out and go against it. It's the real fact. You can look up about the nutritional value of this shit and what it's doing to your physiology. And it's tearing this shit to shreds. Yeah. And if it's tearing your physical to shreds, it's also tearing your mental and your spiritual to shreds because it's all tied into one being. And that's why niggas like that shit because it's a bunch of toxins. Go back to the slavery meals of eating. Niggas, like you said, niggas don't even like the water, they want to replace it with Kool-Aid. I don't even know what Kool-Aid is. I just know it's a powder and that shit got some red or blue or some color in that shit. I don't know where they made that shit or what lab and niggas like that shit. And that's the reason why I like it because it's been eight through the years of generation of slavery oh, yeah. since slavery. And why must they top it with hot sauce? Like what is, what does... <laughs> <laughs> boy, that's a good question. I think it's love that hot sauce, boy. I know that blacks is a, oh, is a people like spicy shit. food. I know that now. Dating back to the Ethiopians and on the ancient Tawah, do they like the spicy food? That's one thing I could say that niggas always like the spiciness. But boy, as far as that, that hot, that Louisiana hot sauce. Niggas love that shit. Niggas eat that shit. They got their bottle on that shit. It, I gotta say, niggas go crazy. I had a lady at work pull some of that wheezy hot sauce on some damn <laughs> potato chips. God damn. They just, niggas like that.